It is time for this week's Sin City Chronicles, a weekly look back at Vegas history and happenings. The 56th annual NBA All-Star Game was held at the Thomas & Mack on February 18, 2007. This was the first time the game was held in a city without an NBA franchise. The West defeated the East, and the late Kobe Bryant was the MVP. President's Day was earlier this week, and long before he was president, Ronald Reagan was performing at the last frontier. Back in 1954, he did two weeks at the hotel, and that was his opening act, the Marquee Chimps. Yep, Ronald Reagan was working with monkeys. That was Reagan's first and only Las Vegas show. Legendary coach Jerry Tarkanian passed away in February 2015, and on February 18th, the lights on the strip went dark for three minutes to honor the fallen coach. Nearly 40 casinos and hotels participated in the event, and prior to Tark, the strip went dark for Elvis, the members of the Rat Pack, President Kennedy, Reagan, and comedian George Burns. On February 17, 2003, the Las Vegas Gladiators made their home debut by defeating Tampa Bay 61-55. The arena football team finished their first season 8-8 eight and, eight and lost in the first round of the playoffs. February 17, 2008, the WWE took over the Thomas & Mack for the No Way Out pay-per-view. Look at that! One of the highlights right here was when Floyd Mayweather attacked the Big Show. He broke his nose right there, setting up a fight at WrestleMania. Oh, what a night it was. And that's your Sin City Chronicles for the third week 